Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this read is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, I probably look real greasy right now. It's okay. It is what it is. I hope you guys are doing okay um, on this beautiful Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. So, listen, um, I channeled this song yesterday, but I was really busy yesterday, and I didn't feel like uploading a video, but, uh, anyways, this song I channeled yesterday, this is, yes, another one that I channeled when I was sitting on the toilet, okay? <laughs> Confirmation. Um, but I was hearing, um... <laughs> this song, okay, uh, it's from the 90s, I believe, I'm not sure, but it's by a girl, her name is Haku, but you guys could, uh, recognize this song from the movie Legally Blonde, okay, it goes, it's a call, the song's called Perfect Day, so it goes, um, what I was hearing was, it's a perfect day, nothing standing in my way <laughs> on this perfect day nothing can go wrong okay so i was hearing this song okay um she talks about in the song how someone was trying to tell her or people be telling her that uh she needs to act her age or that whatever she's going through is just a phase like um whatever her good luck is is just a phase or something like that okay um something like that someone people could be viewing you like that all right also something about a mercedes benz someone could own a mercedes benz this could be you or someone that you're connected to someone could be telling you something is just a dream Oh, okay, so this could be somebody here who could be telling you it's just a dream about um, something that you're intuitively picking up on them, okay? Or there's something you're picking up about someone and they're trying to convince you that you're, 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 you're dreaming, like whatever you're picking up isn't real, okay? Um, but I feel like also whoever I'm talking to, you're someone that could, um, like you've had enough, okay? You've had enough of people trying to like uh, rain on your parade, take your shine, something like that. Someone here is like not having it anymore. And then the song goes on. She says, I'm in the race, but I've already won and getting there can be half the fun. So don't stop me until I'm good and done. Don't you try to rain on my perfect day. <laughs> I can't. All right, I could be talking to someone who has blonde hair, okay? You could be blonde, don't have to be. Um, I also, pertaining to the movie Legally Blonde, like, um, in the movie, didn't her boyfriend break up with her for someone else because he thought she was dumb or something like that? Someone could think that you're dumb or could have thought that, like, this is someone that didn't believe in you. They didn't, they didn't believe that you were capable of achieving your dreams or your goals. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you are achieving this or you are going to. Um, uh, yeah, also someone thinks that so, somebody did, somebody thought you were dumb or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, you know what else is crazy though too? Um, okay, before I get into that, uh, also pertaining to this movie, something legally could be happening um, in your life and it's going to be turning into your favor okay or this could be spiritually like something could have gone up to spiritual court and you are the it, you, it's turning out in your favor i hope this makes sense okay anyways so also or i could be talking to a lawyer you could be a lawyer um so anyways after after i I channeled that song, right? I went outside and right when I opened my door, this big June bug, okay, was trying to like come inside the house. And I was like, no, okay. Um, 
So it's almost like there you could have someone that's trying to block your way, but they won't or they can't. Something like that is going on, okay? Or you need to know that um, there's a lot of good fortune coming your way, okay? On your perfect day. I'm also getting, there could be like, there's going to be a certain day. There's going to be a, you're going to have a lucky ass day. I don't know if this is the day where um, you're going to get the job that you always wanted. Or this day where you're going to meet the love of your life. Or the day you hit the lotto for some of y'all. Something, something like that is going to, you guys are going to hit a lucky ass day. Okay. Um, maybe somebody doesn't want you to go outside so you can get this opportunity. <laughs> That's for some of you. Okay. Um, I also picked up, there's someone here who wants to create their own Oracle deck or their own tarot deck. Um, you're an artist. You're someone who like either draws or you paint. Something like that. Or you, or you're a tattoo artist. Some sort of artist. You need to make it. You need to make it. I don't know what's stopping you from doing it, but you need to do it. Okay? Um, what else? Okay, let me get to the names that I channeled. Okay? Someone's name here could be Blair. Someone's name could be um, Ellen or El Ella. Okay? Someone's name could be Will or Wilson. Mark. Jenny or Jennifer, Tyler, Dave, Matt, Victor, did I say Victor already? Perkins, Alana, okay, Jasmine, let's see, perfect day. Oh, also, I was, um, I got something about a, a website is going to crash or, um, yeah, a website, a what, a web swipe, <laughs> I can't even talk, a website is going to crash soon, okay, I don't know if this is your website, somebody else's website, this could even be like, um, this could be like Twitter, something, I don't fucking know. Something's going to crash, though, or it's going to be a blackout. Something about the internet. Look at how cute this kid is. <laughs> All right. What else? Oh, this is something else that I thought about that I think is very symbolic for y'all. Okay. Um, listen, I bought a whole bag of frozen dumplings, right? And halfway through them, okay, I was eating them with this fucking sriracha hot sauce, right? I was trying to make it work with this sauce. But it just ain't it, okay? So my, my crazy ass, okay, spent $25 <laughs> on the real thing because it's worth it. For a lot of you, I feel like... And this is not a promotion, okay? I do not, this is not an affiliate. I'm not affiliated with Sriracha, okay? But what I'm saying here is that somebody here tried to fucking replace you, but they're realizing too lately, too late now, that you are irreplaceable, okay? Whoever they try to replace you with, the sauce just don't hit right. It don't hit right. It kind of looks the same, right? Too as well. Like it kind of looks the same, but it but it don't. Okay? But it ain't. I'm also getting like like this sauce, for instance, this is only like three something, I think. If I remember. I think it's only like 390 something, right? And this one was $25 and some change. Listen. Whoever you are, you're someone who is rare, 
okay because this the original sriracha sauce is very hard to find right now okay so the value is up so you are someone who's very fucking valuable you whoever i'm speaking to you need to realize this okay Let me see what we got out. Yeah, we got personal power that came out. Something about the eighth house. There's a major change that's gonna happen, okay? For whoever I'm talking to. You might this major change could be you meeting somebody important, okay? Or someone someone to love, whatever this is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what the heck is going on? What do they need to her? Okay, you could be meeting this person during Mercury retrograde. I hope not, but we got Mercury out here. Okay, says the awareness of many thoughts about, oh, okay. You need to be aware of your thoughts right now or the words that you speak, okay? So you can bring in whatever you're trying to create here. We have um, sun at the bottom of the deck. Things are going to be brought to light, okay? So there, you're going to find out. You're going to have some communication come through soon. Someone's going to tell you about something, okay? And you really need to stand in your power when this happens or um, stand firm. Okay? Mmm... Okay, so it's like, okay, this is the energy I'm getting. You're going to be getting something really good coming to you, but then there's also like something, something that, something dark that is going to be exposed, okay? Let's find out what the heck is going on. Perfect. Nothing standing in my way. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. What the heck is going on? What do we need to hear? Why do we got this? Yeah, we have disruption. So someone here could be experiencing some sort of tower moment here. We got patience and planning. Tell me more. Ooh. We have self-esteem. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay. So if you're feeling down on yourself, or you're feeling like you're not good enough to do something, or to be something, or to... Go after your dreams. You need to know that you are, okay? There's someone here that you could have sacrificed, okay? Or moved on from that wants to come in and reunite with you. Ciao. We got recognition and reward. This can only be happening because someone sees you getting some sort of recognition or reward. Or because um, someone feels like you're a good look or something. Um... So you guys could be seeing the angel number 33 a lot. We got 33. Someone here could be 33 years old. Someone here could be born on the 12th, the 16th, or the 7th. We have growth at the bottom of the deck, okay? Because, listen. There could be someone here from your past that sees how far you've grown. And it's, it for some reason, is bringing them a tower moment. I don't know why, okay? I'm also getting, like, um... Someone was trying their best to make sure that you don't grow. Gosh, damn. Whoever I'm speaking to, okay, it's important to stay in balance at this time. What the hell is this? It's, to, it's important to have patience, stay in balance, okay, and to look at life from with the from the light side, from the lighter side. Why, why is it hard for me to fucking talk? Choose to focus on the lighter side of life, okay? I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to, like, all the growth that you've gone through, you've done it with a very positive attitude. Even, even in the moments where you wanted to give up, okay? You need to continue to keep that energy, okay? Because I feel like whatever this tower moment is, it, it may also affect you, okay? I don't know if this affects you. Someone's scared. This could be somebody in your family, or you could be finding out that somebody in your family is ill, okay? Or there's someone here that's been trying to put roots on you. This is the person that could be experiencing some sort of tower moment. 
some of you, um, when you find out about somebody who could be um, experiencing ill health in your family, you might need to travel to them. That's for some of you, okay? This could be a family member that you are not communicating with. We have home in reverse. This could be a feminine energy that I'm speaking about who could be falling ill or I'm speaking to one. Damn. I'm also getting with this sun card, things coming to light. It's like someone's going to tell you what, what they try to create for you or someone's going to reveal like what they try to do to you. This could be a Gemini or someone who has Gemini somewhere in their chart or a Scorpio or a Leo. But the only reason this person is doing this is because they're sick or because they lost or something. What the hell is this patience and plan and spirit? Mm. Someone was really hoping that whatever rumors or gossips or lies that they were spreading about you, they're really being patient, hoping that this was going to cause you to have some sort of tower, but really it just took them out the game. Like this person sacrificed themselves. And you're the one that has the key to success. What the hell is going on? Yeah, someone here might be passing away, like for the decision that they made in their life. When it comes to you or playing in your energy, ciao. Mm -mm. There's a lot of talk going on. There's a family or a community here that is going to be experiencing some sort of um, karma for show. Someone here, is, I feel like someone's anxious. Someone could be very scared. I'm also getting like someone knows they need to speak to you about something, but they're not. Or they're... They're trying to muster up the courage to. I'm also getting this. There could be a community of people or a group of people or three people, place where it needs to go, that were celebrating about your suffering in the past. And this is another reason why they're going to experience some sort of tower moment. Someone here was definitely trying to affect your self-esteem so that you wouldn't go after your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations, or so that you wouldn't feel... Um, so that you wouldn't step into your personal power. Yeah, something here is about to change. We got new phase here, stork. Some of you could be getting pregnant. Not all y'all, I'm just saying. Um, someone here, Somebody here could be getting a new job. Okay, you guys could be moving soon. Whatever this is, you guys are definitely getting some sort of promotion or you're getting, you're going to be liberated of something here. You're definitely going into a new phase. So something about the word phase is very significant for y'all. I could be talking to someone who's um, going through a transformation. I feel like a lot of the things that you had to go, had to go through was very difficult. I'm also getting there's someone here that wants to come in and reunite with you, but they want to make things, um, they want to be a distraction. They want to make things complicated for you. Someone's definitely coming in with some sort of lies to try to stunt your growth. Somebody wants you to revert backwards. We keep getting this energy, yeah. Someone definitely could have been using a lot of magic in order to stop your growth. But this is going to be revealed because the moon card came into reverse. So you're going to find out who is playing in your energy. Basically. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who the hell is this person playing with a, playing with a Harry Potter shape? They probably shouldn't have. This is someone who definitely could have been using a mirror. Or this is someone who likes to mirror your energy or copy you. Or someone was trying to copy your energy. Okay. Um, Tell me more, Spirit. This is someone that you could have known for a very long time. This could be someone who is your soulmate. Soulmates could be siblings, okay? They could be um, friends. 
They could be lovers, okay? This person could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Don't have to be or I'm talking to an Aries. This could have been a Virgo or someone who has Virgo in their chart, okay? This could have been a Sagittarius or I'm talking to a Sag, okay? Someone's definitely trying to do magic on you and some sort of new connection, new beginning, new job, new whatever, okay? Someone is trying to stop some sort of growth from coming into your life. Um, you could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. Or this person does. Let me see. Where's my... What signs do we got involved in this situation, Spirit? What zodiac signs are involved? Someone here could be a Scorpio. Okay, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody here could be a Leo. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. Someone here could be a Libra, or you're dealing with a Libra. You could, um, Someone here could be a Sag, or you could be dealing with a Saggy. Someone here could be a Pisces, or you're dealing with a Pisces. Someone here could be a Gemini, or someone could be um, dealing with one. Oop, tell me more, spirit. Jesus. Someone here could be an Aquarius, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone here could be Capricorn, or you're dealing with a Cap. Someone here could be a Virgo, or you're dealing with a Virg, okay? Perfect can you tell me more about this spirit this moon in reverse. yeah whatever this is you're about to find out soon we got present now in the moment someone's gonna tell you i'm also getting someone did something like um without thinking like they just did it because of how the how their emotions how they were feeling in that moment so this person could be feeling regretful, I guess, now because of what they've done. This could be someone who has um, unhealed child wounds. Okay. Or this could be a parent of some of yours. that uh, A parent that is very neglectful. Yeah, they could have been doing this because you're a spiritualist. Or this is a spiritualist that has un unhealed child wounds okay that's for some of you yeah we have ain't shit this is someone that has a stank attitude or is always rolling their eyes when they hear about you see your face whatever the fuck this is tell me more why do we have disruption yeah this is someone that is a happiness hater this person doesn't like to see you laugh smile <laughs> whatever okay I'm also getting like somebody could be confused by the fact that some sort of tower moment hasn't hit you. It's because it's going to hit them. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah. This also could be someone who's connected to an ex of yours. Don't have to be. But this ex, they know that some this ex wants you. I don't think you even want this person. I'm also getting like you're somebody here who keeps it 100 you keep it 1,000, and someone here does not fucking like this, okay? Someone doesn't like the, the fact that you're honest or you speak the truth, okay? They don't like it. Tell me more. Some of you um, need to take a vacation. There's someone here that definitely wants to fight you. It could be a feminine energy or a masculine place where it needs to go. Someone here definitely wants you to have some sort of bad reputation, because you did you denied them or you disconnected from them this person could be experiencing some sort of legal issues or trouble anymore. okay like i said in the beginning you could be winning something it when it comes to a court case or something's going to go to trial and someone's going to be exposed for something Something about money, something about how someone gave somebody money, gave a group of people money, three people money. Someone's trying to run away with money is also what I'm getting. Or someone was trying to run away with your money. That is for some of y'all. Tell me more. Yeah. Someone definitely could be stalking you for sure, trying to figure out what you're doing all the time. Someone here has an outdated 
way of thinking. This person could be very closed-minded. And this person is trying to get the tea on you. This is someone that always tries to criticize you as well. Yeah, there's someone here that's in their ego. That's going to be experiencing some sort of tower moment because you rejected them or you no longer want to speak to them. Listen, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be like if you have a toxic family dynamic and you're no longer speaking to your family members, you this is hurting their ego. Okay, because you could be the black sheep of the family and everyone could be or everyone's used to like blaming you for some shit. And the fact that you're not around, okay, is doing something to this family dynamic, basically, okay? Or it's making them look weird because it's like, you're not around to give them a reason to hate you or to blame you for something. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, we got black sheep. Yeah, someone here is definitely crying. And they want to come in and fix something with you. Alright, someone here is sad. I'm also getting someone wanted to see you cry though. Okay? You're going to be receiving help or you already have. When it comes to your situation. Yeah, because of this toxic person. You're receiving help from this toxic person that loves to play games. Or was loves to play in your energy. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, you're going to be receiving good news soon, okay? And someone else here that is that used to laugh at your fucking pain, they're uh they're going to be experiencing some some fucking bad news bears, okay? This person is constantly getting readings on you and they think you don't know, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you fucking know. Tell me more. Yeah. Someone wants to come in and plead their case to you. They want to ask for your forgiveness. Okay. I'm also getting someone's going to say something. Someone's going to expose some sort of truth or bring something to light here. I feel like this is someone who's trying to defend you. Excuse me. Confirmation. Yeah, this person wants to say I'm sorry. And the only reason they're saying sorry is because their life is going downhill. Okay. And they're realizing now that you were untouchable. Whoever you're thinking about, yes, it's that person. Yeah, listen, you need to trust your gut when it comes to this person coming towards you. They just want to repeat history or they want you to go back into a cycle, okay? They want you to go back into a toxic cycle. They want they want you to come back and be their punching bag. Don't do it. You got a fucking whole new, brand new beginning. The adventure begins for you, okay? Someone's going to have to be forced to watch you with this new beginning, that's that's what this is going to be, this bully. This bully is going to have to watch you get some sort of recognition or reward. Um, have this new beginning. Get a new house. Get a new job. Find the person that you want to be with. Someone's going to try to invite you to go somewhere. Please don't go. We keep getting that energy, okay? Because someone is really trying their best to stop your progress. This person is doing that by trying to get readings on you to try to block something with magic, with roots, with hoodoo, voodoo, with whatever they try to do. So just be careful about this person here. Someone really is trying to fuck with your self-esteem is what I'm getting. Why do we have this? Or someone doesn't like that you have self-esteem. Yeah, someone could be confused on how something is not working here. Someone keeps trying to send you storms your way, trying to send you conflict. This person could be trying to like, um, send chaos and conflict to you. I also feel like there's someone here that lied about you. And people are now looking at this person confused about like, why the fuck did you lie about that? Something like that is going on. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Yeah. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. There could be a Queen of Swords in reverse that's going to be experiencing some sort of tower moment. This doesn't have to be an air sign. This could be just someone who's real bitter. This is a, a bitchy, nasty energy. Okay? 
This person was trying to win at all costs here with this five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more. Yeah, this is someone who's very smug or arrogant. This also could be someone who's very selfish. This could be someone who drinks a lot. Don't have to be. Yeah, someone here is definitely going to be going to jail or spiritual jail while you're experiencing some sort of recognition or something. Or someone was really, someone was really um, thinking that they weren't going to get in trouble for something. They were being very prideful. Yeah, we have the devil out here. This could be a Capricorn. Don't have to be, okay? Or this is just someone who is in devilish energy. Or someone who was allowing um, the devil to rule them, okay? So this could be someone who was allowing jealousy to rule their actions, um, hatred to rule their actions. Someone greed to rule their actions, their ego. Somebody allowed their ego to destroy them is what I'm getting here. This is someone that needed to find the light and they didn't. You could be in hermit mode right now. Yeah, listen, you're about to receive some sort of, some new opportunity here. And this is coming from the divine. Okay, I could be talking to a Taurus or someone here who has Taurus in their chart. Don't have to be, but there's something definitely coming in here quickly for you. All right, if you could be, you could be experiencing money coming in slow. Okay, but it's definitely coming in. Something big is coming in for you, so hold on. Okay, yeah, there was someone definitely here that need, that's going to have to pay you what they owe you. This is someone that was trying to leave you out in the cold of some sort of finances here. This is someone that you walked away from or someone that you freed yourself from. Yeah, this is someone who's now burdened or this is someone that put you through a lot of burdens, okay, for walking away from them. Yeah, this could have been somebody in your family or someone you have a family with. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to have reason to celebrate soon. Because of what somebody tried to do to you. Whatever unwise choice someone tried to do to you, it's turning out in your favor. Some way, somehow. Okay? Um, you could be someone who's very nurturing, very caring, very practical. Okay? Damn. <laughs> You need to know that you you have successfully escaped something here. This could be even like, um, yeah, you need to keep your boundaries up, though, because someone wants to rush in to bring you more burdens or someone wants to rush in and, and create some sort of arguments with you. I'm also getting like if this is a person that wants to reunite with you, this person is trying to rush in to offer you some sort of cup of love. But um, yeah. This could be a king of wands that wants a second chance. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Oh, yeah, somebody here wants a relationship with you. They could want marriage with you. Okay. You need to use your discernment when it comes to this situation, okay? You really need to use your discernment, all right? Because this is someone who's left you out in the cold before in the past. This could have been someone who left left you to to be with someone else. Okay? Someone wants to come in and... Yeah, someone wants to come in and work together with you. Mm. Yeah, we got the Emperor. We have the Star Guard. This could be an Aquarius. Don't have to be. Ciao. This is someone that you're not communicating with, or there's something that's been creating a lot of delays between a reunion with two people. There's could there could have been a lot of confusion, or someone here had a lot of options. Tell me more. 
Yeah, there's someone that's definitely spying on you. This five of swords that keeps popping up, I don't really like what the fuck this is. Like, someone could be trying to uh, strategize. Or this is like someone that wants to tell you the truth about something. To block a reunion. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're single. You're abundant. Someone wants to put a death to that, though. Whoever this person is, is they're stuck and they're sad. This could be a cancer. Don't have to be. Or I'm talking to a cancer. Child. Let's get out Bertha and see what the fuck is going on. Uh, maybe this is someone that wants to come in and try to stand in your way. This person that's coming back. Why is this person coming back? They have a hope and a wish that you will accept them back to you or you'll take them back. Someone wants to be part of your destiny. Well, this person's a fucking snake that did magic on you. Whoever this person is, the energy they're coming in with is, like, um, very confused. Very unpredictable. This person might come to you telling you they're in trouble, they need help. Child, please. Let me see what the hell is going on. Bertha. This could be someone who is very codependent on you. We have codependent partner, or there's someone here that's connected to a codependent person. We have Libra, Scorpio, Cusp. I could be talking to a Libra, Scorpio, Cusp, or this is the codependent person. We have good vibes, okay? We have credit score, 600 to 700. So whoever I'm speaking to, you got a pretty good credit score. Okay? Or your credit score is going to go up. Listen. Whoever you are, you're on the up and up. While someone else has is not on the up and up. We have 400 to 500 credit score. What is going on? Maybe somebody here used your social security number for your credit. Maybe this is what you're going to find out. Someone here who's codependent on your energy or someone here that needs you. We have illegal surveillance. Okay, so someone here definitely was watching you without your consent. You could be an Uber driver. Okay, don't have to be. We have self-empowerment. So you're someone here to decided to... And, To boss up in your own life. Someone here is upset about this. Because there's someone here that's dependent on you. Or there's someone here that feels like you're outshining them or outgrowing them. They don't like this. Someone here could have been trying to plan to rob you. We have second degree burglary. We have calling, texting, or emailing you using fake accounts, profiles to vamp energy off you. This is how someone's been watching you. Someone's been watching you and, and wa also watching your money. Someone's been patiently planning on a, on the right time to come in and rob you, I guess. We have, I keep seeing you in my dreams. I miss you. So there's someone here that misses you. They miss your good vibes. Okay. We have validation. This is someone here that wants your validation. Or this is someone that wanted you to need validation from them. Maybe in the past when your self-esteem was lower, you, you felt like you needed validation from this individual. This could be a family member. This could be an ex. This could be a friend. This could be a boss. This could be a coworker, a place where it needs to go. Yeah, we have slept with someone higher up to cover their ass. So someone here, there's some sort of truth coming out about how someone was out here um, selling their goodies or giving their goodies up for collateral or whatever in order to cover the rest this could be someone in your toxic family that was doing this tell me more spirit or did this we got abundance is an attitude practice gratitude all right something about someone's father is significant somebody's father could have been illegally surveillancing you trying to um 
using fake profiles what the fuck is this this could be this could be your father or a baby father someone's daddy okay we got beast okay there's a beast like character like in beauty and the beast that misses you keeps dreaming about you somebody's first middle or last name could start with an r we have pretending to be spiritual to be with you so be careful someone this is a codependent person they're trying to act like they're spiritual to be with you but this person truly is still in their self node this could be someone who's a scorpio or a libra don't have to be okay or somebody's father ain't shit okay we have unwritten law evolution nothing changes if nothing changes so someone here is about to change something here someone's about to take some sort of action towards you okay or take action in general this could be someone who's deciding to tell the truth even if they somebody knows that if they tell the truth it's gonna betray somebody that they're loyal to or have been loyal to I don't know. We got losing their mind over you. Someone's losing it. You're going to get some sort of approval here. Okay. It's going to be the perfect day. <laughs> That's for some of you. We have no regret for crime. So somebody here did some sort of illegal shit to you and they don't regret it at all. Someone here definitely underestimated you for show. Okay. Someone help, somebody here felt like nothing was going to change in your life with this evolution but you evolved someone didn't think this was possible for you someone underestimated your ass okay someone here also lied about um being committed to someone we have fake apology someone's gonna come in with some sort of fake apology someone else here is gonna be receiving some sort of misdemeanor or this person already has a misdemeanor or this person is trying to get you to have a misdemeanor we have black cat you guys could be seeing a lot of black cats right now this means that you are a lucky bitch and protected we have destiny's child i'm a survivor i'm gonna make it i'm gonna work harder i'm gonna keep surviving <laughs> I don't remember the words. Listen, whoever you are, you're a fucking survivor. You've empowered yourself. And this is causing someone to lose their fucking mind. Okay? Whoever this person that's losing their mind is someone who is closest to you. It'd always be the ones closest to you. It's probably somebody in your family. Someone you've known for a very long time. Maybe somebody you've known since childhood. This could be a childhood friend. Okay? This is, this is someone who's close to you. Someone you work close with. Even a co-worker. Place it. Where I need to go. Tell me when to go. Spirit. <laughs> what else do we need to hear about this situation? Something about the month of January is very significant. Someone here was supposed to tell you the truth during January, but it didn't happen. Okay. Um, or someone gave you a fake apology in January. Or this, or an Aquarius or a Capricorn is going to come towards you with a fake ass apology. Somebody's father could have disowned you. Your father could have disowned you. Okay. We have, they're facing bad karma now, if they did, okay? If your father left you for dead or tried to uh, do something foul to you, try to leave you out of some sort of inheritance or, or stole from you, um, yeah, he's got to go. Listen, my father, never mind, I ain't going to touch it. Let me keep going. Someone's going to be facing bad karma. We have false documents, so something about some false documents Ciao. they're being revealed someone here is losing their job or they already did or someone's been lying about how they have a job someone wants to apologize for being this the police are investigating this person or investigating your father or investigating someone or you Maybe there somebody um, put in a false report on you. Okay. What goes around comes around. Now somebody's being investigated. If someone put in a false report on you so you could be investigated, so that you could be um, illegally surveillanced, tracked, monitored, all that. What goes around comes around, baby. Okay. We got listen, Linda, pay attention, be an observer, less talking, because someone here is trying to do something to you. 
We have Rose in Harlem, Tiana Taylor. You're a rose that grew out the fucking concrete. And someone didn't think it was possible. But they forgot that you work miracles, bitch. <laughs> I need to stop. We have pride is in your way. So if somebody here has pride in their way to come in to try to like make things right. Someone knows that they have to make things right with you. Okay. This is someone who stole something from you. This thief. They know they have to make something right with you. Or they know they have to give you your fucking money back. Bitch better have my money. Tell me more, spirit. What else do we need to hear? Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you're a rising phoenix. You rising from the ashes, baby. And someone here is now getting bad karma because you decided to do the fucking work. Ciao. Whoever was involved in creating some sort of false documents with your name on it, they're going to be receiving some badass karma. Someone here was doing this to be very fucking cruel. And this person has no shame. You could be dealing with a real... You could be dealing... This could be a certified narcissist that you're dealing with here. This, something about your boss or your manager could be jealous of you or was a, was a part of something here. Okay. We have there's no magic pill for self-love. There's someone here that does not love themselves and they don't want you to love themselves either. We have drama creator. There's someone here that wants to create a lot of drama for your ass. Okay. You could be seeing this person in your dreams. Something about the next holiday is very significant for you guys. So what is that? Labor Day? I don't know. Ooh, child. The hell is this about? What is this about? Ooh. Okay. What is this about? Ew. Someone you had, okay, there's somebody that you were dealing with that you literally felt like you needed to escape from. This person is very abusive, controlling, downright fucking evil is what I feel like. And this person wants to come in and have a second chance with you. Don't let this person come close to you because this person might um try to do this to you. Or was trying to do have someone else do this to you. This is someone who was mad because you walked away from them. Child, please. This person is selfish as fuck. I'm also getting like somebody, whenever they get readings on you, all they keep seeing is the Ten of Cups and the Will of Fortune, child. <laughs> And the Nine of Cups. You being happy, child. Somebody somebody does not fucking like this. Okay? Tell me more. I like this drama creator. This drama creator is definitely going to be exposed for what they were trying to do. Somebody here definitely was trying to do something or create drama on the internet as well as what I'm getting we have the two of wands here or someone here was trying to create drama with you because you have the world in your hands okay you got the power is what i'm getting okay this could have been happening to a leo or this is a leo who is doing this or someone who has leo in their chart don't have to be though so anymore this could be a king of cups anymore. Damn. So there's a man here that loves you, but they wanted to create drama with you. They wanted you, they, the, the, what the fuck is this? This is someone who wants to reunite with you. They want to work together with you, but this person is not willing to give you that. They're not willing to match the same energy with you. They want to come in with the six of pentacles in reverse, but they want to act like they want to work together with you while this person is holding back some other shit. I don't like the vibe of this. 
Okay, you could be someone who's very aware of this individual. Or this is someone here that wanted to sacrifice you. This person wants to come in with some sort of love bombing tactic. Or this person is upset because you're not accepting their love and you're holding back from them. Okay, I feel like the divine is protecting you from this individual. Yeah, because this person is immature. Okay, or someone here could have a water sign child or a fire sign child. But you got, uh, someone wants, to, someone sees you as good news now and they want to come in and apologize. But the apology is like real weak. It's a weak ass, <laughs> it's a weak ass apology. Yeah, for trying to betray you in some way. Someone's hoping that you will accept their apology for trying to put so many fucking knives in your back. They're hoping that if they come in and they tell you the truth about how many times they stabbed you. <laughs> That you're going to be like, oh, it's okay. It's fine. You can come back in my life. That's what this person's feeling like. This is what this person's hoping. Listen, if this person even tries to come near you, you need to understand. This person could be a Sag. Don't have to be. You need to understand that the divine is going to definitely put a rest to this person. I'm also getting like, you didn't make sure you take a break and take a breather because... When this person has the audacity to come through and and do this or offer this to you or attempt this shit, you need to um, remain fucking tempered. Remember, the only reason this person's coming in like this is because what goes around comes around. Karma is a bitch. What's up with this cruel intention? Yeah, so this is someone here that has no fucking love for you. We have a queen of cups in reverse that was very cruel. Okay, and their intentions for you or their hidden agendas are being revealed with this moon in reverse about whatever action that they took. Okay, or somebody here could have been lying about your sexuality or what you do sexually or something. This could be a king of pentacles. Chow. That was cruel. don't have to be or someone was lying about a king of pentacles whatever this is the truth is going to be coming out this is something that's destined to happen here for you to have wish fulfillment damn spirit where the hell is my there we are The truth about a community is coming out. A truth about a group is coming out that was trying to put you in danger. Or that was being aggressive with you. Or trying to cause you some sort of accident or, or put you in some sort of crime. The truth about this is being revealed. The truth about them trying to celebrate about this as well is being revealed. Lordy, lordy, lordy. What's up with these false docs, spirits? Someone wants to rush in and tell you about these false documents so that they don't go to jail. So someone wants to come in and tell you the truth. They want to rush in real fast and be like, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you, let me tell you why, though. I'm over it. What else do they need to hear, Spirit? Or let me see what this is. What else do they need to hear? We have this hater is known to be a homewrecker. So somebody here could have been saying that you're a homewrecker and they're actually a homewrecker or um something. Or there's somebody here that's leaving another individual to come towards you and this person wants to call you a homewrecker. But I feel like this relationship has already been over for a while. And they just want to have someone to blame. Tell me more. We have this hater knows you're about to become abundant and it drives them crazy. Child, listen. Someone's getting really desperate. Okay. This person th drive, thrives off drama. Okay. And they want to bring this drama to your doorstep for real. 
We have, they are totally playing the victim when they start to lose. So someone's starting to lose. You're winning, chow. Where I'm speaking to you, you're winning. We have, this person sends you healing energy. So now someone wants to, somebody wants to pray for you now. Somebody here wants to fucking make things right. They want to send you good energy because they're experiencing negative energy. They're hoping that that will like change the trajectory of their life. I don't think it will though. Someone here is trying to like trick the divine. Yeah, this is definitely someone you don't even communicate with. Okay, it says this hater is nice to your face, but, and they actually like you or like them. This hater is nice to your face and you actually like them. Okay, so that's fucked up. So this is someone who's really close to you, someone that you have not suspected. Okay, we have this hater has mental health issues, so be the bigger person. So yeah, someone someone here has some serious issues going on. We have they downplay your success to others to make themselves look better. So someone's just hating. Someone's hating on you, okay? There's an Aquarius here that has mental health issues. You need to be, they need, a, they, they need, they need assistance. They need a nurse. They need, they need some milk. Why do we have... Okay. Who's the person who's driving my grandma? Mm. You have a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker here that thrives off drama. Okay, and they can't stop having your name in their mouth for some reason. Yeah, there's a false flame here. Someone that you walked away from that you were in a relationship with. This this person is losing their fucking mind because they know that you're about to be abundant here. Damn. <laughs> God damn. And there's someone nearby you that's sending you uh, healing energy. Okay. I don't know how to take that. There's a Libra here that also downplays your success to others to make themselves look better, or this is happening to a Libra. Place it where it needs to go. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> I don't know why I keep hearing this song. Cruel, cruel, cruel summer. Some shit like that. Oh we gotta go. I gotta end this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else is gonna be here? Yeah, something's gonna be ending soon. Something's over here. Cause someone here was blocking your pathway and then it's it's time for them to go. Yeah. Someone definitely here is in despair because something's over. I'm also getting someone's in despair because you're not in bad health. Someone here could have been trying to make you have a mental illness. Okay, by overworking you. Or by continuously trying to cipher your energy. Someone now is concerned though. Okay, I'm also getting someone here was trying to make you have bad health so you wouldn't do... So you wouldn't go to work or you wouldn't be able to have an ability to make money or something like that. Some of you are about to become a wealthy man or a wealthy woman, okay, because of some sort of court situation. It's going to change your fucking life, okay? Some of y'all is going to get married. That's not for all y'all. But for some of y'all, marriage is definitely out here. You're someone who's, someone sees you as the privileged lady, for sure. But there's a mature woman that's um, a straight hater. You're going to be receiving some sort of gift here. And it's going to be unexpected. If someone's concerned about this, about you receiving some gift or knowing about some sort of gift. Ay, ay, ay. This is going to be the end. What kind of good things can they experience or that they will experience soon, spirit? What kind of good things can they expect? We have Queen of Ariel. 
okay it says much it says nurture yourself and those you love the ability to make anything more beautiful practical wise advice okay leap of faith some of you are being called to take some sort of leap of faith here it says believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy and then we have 10 of ariel it says there's so much to be grateful for financial success and a promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life this is what's going to be coming to you okay and it says you need it not go through your current challenges alone it says help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling pro prophecies so please remember to keep your keep a positive attitude about your future and what's coming for you okay and you need to release the past. Something about release the past or leave the past in the past. Especially if the past is trying to come back. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me more? What else do I need to hear? Yeah, express your individuality. You're someone who's um very unique. Okay. It's important to stay true to yourself at this time. Something about your love life is definitely going to be improving. And you need to forgive whoever these people are. Something something about the month of autumn is going to be very um, lucky for you. But I also feel like you need to you need to pray and forgive these people for whatever they have done to you. Okay? Because whatever they have done is some sneaky, conniving shit. Okay? <clears throat> This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Bye.